right here, as you can see right here, there's the V-band clamp right there. And it's a, it's a 12 mil, okay? You can see the difference in the exhaust and the sheer size of it. What's up guys, welcome back to Smeed for Speed. Uh, thanks for watching. Today uh, we're gonna work on the truck, uh, as I mentioned in the, in the last video, and uh, figured I'd just go ahead and show you guys how to change the exhaust out on the, on the Duramax LLY uh, 04 GMC truck here. And uh, I just got her smogged, like I mentioned, so we have the stock exhaust on right now. I've got my MBRP uh, five inch exhaust over there. Might be a four inch, I can't remember honestly. Either way, straight pipe. We're gonna get that put back on, um, and we'll show you the details and what you need to do. It's very simple, and uh, maybe it'll help someone out, change their exhaust out easier, but yeah, let's get working. Let's go. All right, guys, so first things first, before we even get onto the truck and start taking the exhaust off is to access your manifold here where your, uh, your uh, exhaust comes up to meet, uh, to the downpipe is you're going to want to take off your uh, inner fender liner here. Super easy. It's just a bunch of cla uh, plastic clips like most vehicles have. Um, for me, I got I got a couple different tools here that I that you can use. I mean, they all work good, but I like this guy here. It's got the hook on it, so I can get really get in there. So you just take up all the clips. There's probably like four, like see six, six or so clips in here. There's a couple other things that are hooked to the back side of this uh, wiring that plugs into it this way. So you'll need to just push those out and the whole freaking uh, liner will come out. Uh, mine's all jacked up down here at the bottom because I got the big tires on it. So whatever was holding it down here is not there any longer and I don't have to worry about that. So you might need to. Um, other than that, let's get into working, take this off and then we can access the, uh, the, v, uh, the v band clamp that's holding the exhaust that goes down to the down pipe that goes up to uh, the end of the engine compartment. So let's do that real quick. Alright guys, so we got the uh, plastic fender liner off, inner fender liner, uh, liner off, and uh, I'll show you right now, let's check this out. So we'll, we'll show you right here. So basically this is what it looks like once you get open. You can really access stuff in here. I mean, you could take your entire exhaust manifold off, take your intercooler pipe, and you can do all kinds of good stuff from in here. So um, right here, as you can see right here, there's the V-band clamp right there. And it's a, it's a 12 mil, okay? Right, I think it's 12 mil. Yeah, it's a 12 mil. I got my impact gun with my long socket. I'm just going to impact that bad boy off. All you got to do is do that one. That's what's holding those to get. There's your stock up pipe right there. I believe it'd be called the up pipe. Here's your exhaust manifold. You got your up pipe, and I guess this would be considered part of the day. This might be the down pipe. I'm not really sure. Honestly, I know there's a down and an up, but that's technicality. Don't worry about it. Roast me in the comments. I don't even give a shit. Um, then it goes down and as you can see that's all the stock exhaust goes straight to the cat which is like right up there so we're going to get that off then down there we'll work on getting there's four bolts that uh right after the cat that hold the rest of the exhaust on that goes to the back of the truck so that's all it is it's literally this one uh v-band clamp here 12 mil down there i can't remember the size uh i'll let you know when we get down there but that's all it is so i'm not going to time lapse that i'm just going to pull that off and then uh we'll get to taking the rest of it off, so let's roll.
All right, guys, stock exhaust is off. That's what it looks like. That's the part right there with the V-band clamp right there. Goes back to the truck. You got your cat right there. That's what they're looking for right there, guys. They're looking for that. So if you don't have that, you're done for smog. You're done. Four bolts. That's all it is. The gasket's tore up. Don't care. Put it on for 20 minutes. Go to the smog shop. Boom, boom. And all this stuff I'm telling you right now is all stuff that I'm not doing on my own truck. You know, this is this is a different truck, not in California, just so you guys know. You know what I mean? So um, then it just connects and goes back. And like, I just had the guy weld on a piece, an extra piece, because it was like right here was sticking up into the, like up to the bottom of the truck. So I had him kind of weld a little piece on that would shoot the shit out the back better. You know, just for when I go to smog it or when we go to smog this truck from another state. And uh, that's basically it right there. So now we're gonna go grab our, our MBRP, bring that over, I'll lay it out right next to it so you guys can see the difference. I'll lay it out right here so you can see next to it and uh, we'll throw that on there. Seriously, it's that simple. It's even easier putting the aftermarket one on because you don't have the big ass cat in the way trying to, you gotta like rotate that thing as you put it up to get the pipe to go up into the engine bay. Like it, it's kind of a hassle, but it's not too bad. I figured out exactly which way I need to turn it now. So that's good. So MBRP goes up way easier. Let's go get that laid out. All right, guys, there you go. You can see the difference in the exhaust and the sheer size of it. I mean, look at this pipe compared to this pipe. I believe it's a four inch. I think it's a four inch, not a five. The five's huge. Yeah, it's a four inch. So it does reduce down to get that V-band clamp on there. That goes up in the engine bay. I mean, clearly, look, it's just straight, no cap, done, boom. So what I did is these are normally slip joints. This goes in there, okay? This is small, barely smaller. It's like they pinched it and widened this, slips in there. And it's usually got this U-bolt clamp that holds it together because that's a slip joint as well, as you can see right there. I kept having an issue with it vibrating out. I could, not, I could never get this piece to slip in here and stay with that with that style clamp there. So I had the guy weld on two freaking tabs. They're literally just open hole spacers, okay? On each side, and when this lines up, it's like, you know, that ear lines up with that ear, and I got another set on this side. And I just got these bolts right there that run straight through and hold, and hold the exhaust together like that. So that's all it is, that's all it is. So there you go. And then it comes out to the back. We got the nice chrome tip. I'm gonna wipe that thing all down, clean that all up, polish it up real quick, throw it on there. So let's get to work and let's put this back on the truck. We'll be all done. go in here and we got it all on let's go in here and show you what we're working with all right as you can see here 
We've got the entire exhaust on. Okay. All the way up to there. That's where it turns. You can see it right there. These are the bolts I was talking about. I got one there and one on this back side over here. That sandwiched that seal together. Never had a problem with this one, so I'm never touching it. So I always had a problem right there. That's why I told them to weld that and just be done with it. So um, got my hanger. I only use these two hangers right here, one and one. So that's it. And then the exhaust just turns out right there, as you can see right there. Just turns out right there, Boop. right out the side. That's it. Me personally, I like the way the side exit looks. So there's what it looks like, MBRP, baby. So sounds really good, guys. I will, uh, I'll give you a little cold start. I should have done it before and after, but just thought about that right now. But either way, this is what a four inch straight pipe MBRP sounds on your truck. Okay, cold start right now. This is what a cold start sounds like on the stage five tune. I'm gonna switch it over to the five. So let's start it. That's it, that's all it takes guys. The only last thing we gotta do is put our uh, our plastic fender liner back in here, which we got right here, okay? So we're just gonna throw that back in there and we're gonna call it good, so let's put that back in and we'll be all done. All right guys, well, that's gonna do it for this video. Exhaust install on the Duramax diesel. Um, pretty simple, like I said, just follow those simple instructions and you won't have any issues. And uh, that's it you can have a nice sounding exhaust on your truck looks good too um like i said that turnout on the back i had the welder do that normal mbrp goes all the way out the back um so just keep that in mind mine's a little custom but i bought that exhaust system cut it had it re-welded boom and it works great so anyways that's it for this video guys appreciate you watching again um hope that helps with the exhaust install on your truck and uh, keep your eyes out for the next one. We are gonna be doing big things here with the EG, getting it all dialed in. We got some cool parts to put on, uh, stuff that's really gonna finalize this thing, and then we will definitely be hitting the track in the next month or so. So um, until then, guys, I appreciate you watching. Uh, hit that like button, smash the subscribe button. Don't forget to watch out. Hit the bell icon if you're down, and keep an eye out for the next video. But always, guys, appreciate everybody watching. Until next time, we'll see you later. Peace.